I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Make sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my Pilates videos and be sure to turn on the notifications so you can get the latest updates from Jimra. Hi everyone, welcome to Intermediate Mat Pilates. All you'll need for class is a yoga mat or a Pilates mat and then a set of light weights anywhere from one to three pounds. We will get started lying down on our backs. So go ahead and set yourself up in any supine shape that feels nice. I like to start with the soles and my feet together and the knees wide, but you could have the feet down on the mat or you could extend the legs long. Just take a moment here to close the eyes down to settle in and we'll begin by taking a nice cleansing breath. Slow, deep inhale, fill up the lungs. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Take a nice stretch of the legs long, of the arms long, reach fingers to toes, and then hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze, rock side to side a few times. Massage that lower back. Then bend your knees, bring your legs into a tabletop position. Cactus your arms next to you like goal posts. Take your knees, drop them to the right, bring them back to center, and then over to the left, bring them back to center. Don't let them touch the ground. So it's right and center, left and center, right and center, left and center. Keep going right and center, left and center, right, left right, left. Try to keep your knees glued together. Keep the lower back pressing down. I'm on a bit of an, a hill here, struggling a little bit. You guys keep going. Keep pressing those arms down into the mat. Outside of your mat, I should say. Take one more round right. One more round left, come back to center, pause, curl the head and shoulders up, reach those hands forward so they hover just above the hips, brush the dust off if you've got that going on, and then take those legs to a high diagonal, start to pump the arms, arms for the hundred. Big deep breaths, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhales through the nose, exhales out the mouth, inhales and exhales. Head and shoulders up, keep pumping those arms. Warming up the core here, point those toes. Squeeze the inner thighs, keep going. Big deep breath, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Head and shoulders a little higher. Last three breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last two, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Rest. Good job. Hug the knees into the chest. Place your feet down onto the mat. Let's set up for the Pilates bridge. Take your hands by your hips. Curl your spine up off of the mat. Pull your belly in. Make sure you can still see your knees. You have a nice long diagonal from your shoulders to your knees. Scoop the belly and roll back down nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Twice more nice and slow. Lift those hips up. Pull the belly in and then exhale, curl the spine back down one more time. Feel that articulation lift up, roll the spine back down, and then we'll take it through a little bit faster. Lift the hips up, lower the hips. You wanna add a little more challenge. You can take those arms up, palms face each other. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Just starting our warm up here, squeeze those glutes at the top, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, hips up and down. We've got last 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the hips down lift up or sorry keep the hips down then lift up your hips and take that right leg to a high diagonal take the arms up and over the head inhale as you exhale bring the right leg up arms reach forward and then right leg down the hips stay up the whole time up and down three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place the right foot down, don't let the hips drop. Take the left leg up, same thing, taking the leg down as the arms go over the head and then reaching the leg up as the arms reach forward. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep going, two, one. Don't let the hips drop. Place that left foot back down onto the mat. Reach those arms up, lift up onto the balls of the feet, and then lower those heels back down. Heels up and down. We're doing 20. 18, keep going. 17, keep the belly tight. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, almost there. 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Curl your spine back down, nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Keep your legs exactly as they are. Take those hands by the hips, extend your right leg to a high diagonal. Both hands behind the head, take an inhale, lower that right leg down. As you exhale, crunch up and reach that left hand outside of your right leg and then lower all the way back down. For nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come up and just take little pulses up, up. Ten, nine, both shoulder blades off the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower back down. Keep the hands behind the head. Just take that left leg to a high diagonal. We're just doing the same thing on the other side. Lower the leg down, inhale as you exhale, crunch. Reach that right arm all the way outside of the left leg. You got it. 10 total, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now come back up and little pulses up, keeping both shoulder blades off of the mat. 10, nine, eight, you got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything back down, really nice work. Let's set up single leg circles. Left leg long, right leg long, and then lift up your right leg so it's right above that right hip. More support, hands by the hips. More challenge, you take the arms up, palms face each other. Press the lower back down, press your left leg down, foot is flexed, right toes point. Start to draw nice and controlled circles with that right leg. Think about the width of a Pilates magic ring, no wider. If your arms are up, don't let them wobble. Everything stays stable, focus on connecting to your core, press the lower back down. If it's too much, to have the left leg long, you can always bend the left knee and place the left foot down on the mat. Your choice. Keep going. Almost there. Let's reverse the direction. Go the opposite way. Last circle counterclockwise. Pause there. Curl the head and shoulders up. Take your hands, interlock all 10 fingers, release the index fingers and cross the thumbs, take a steeple grip. Now, if you want to add on to your challenge, you can hover the left leg off of the mat. If you need more support, I want you to keep the left leg down because we're only moving the right leg. This is to start out just the right leg down and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, point your toes. Five, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Keep that left leg hovering. Bend the right knee, extend the leg, then lower it down. Let's go. So bend, extend, and lower. That's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, I know it's hard. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Good job. 
lower the left leg down, take the steeple grip, release it, place that right leg down, lift up your left leg, let's do the other side. If you're not taking the hands here, you've got them by your hips, no problem. More support, you just bend that right knee. Go ahead and start to draw nice and controlled circles with that left leg. Focus is on the core here. Don't let those hips move. Pull the navel to the spine, close your ribs, press the lower back down into the mat, make sure your left leg is nice and long. Think like a ballerina, make it nice and pretty, point those toes, the right foot is flexed and the right leg is pressing down into the mat, helping you with your stability. And your breathing, don't forget to breathe. Go ahead and reverse the direction counterclockwise. No wider than the width of a magic circle, so keep it nice and steady. Last circle counterclockwise, pause here. Curl the head and shoulders up, take that steeple grip once again and twist outside of the left leg. Remember, you can keep the right leg down, but if you want to add your challenge, lift the right leg off of the mat. First, we start with just the straight leg going down and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend the knee, extend the leg, put it down. Let's go. Two, three, keep going, four, five, halfway, six, point those toes, seven, eight, almost there, nine, one more. 10, good job. Back to center, lower that left leg down. Take a moment to breathe. Keep those hands by your hips. One more exercise before we take the roll up. Lift up both legs so they're above your hips. <clears throat> so keeping the toes pointed, cross right ankle, left ankle, feet together, flex the feet, take the legs wide, back to center. So it's cross, cross, center, wide cross, cross, center, wide. The toes point when the legs are above you. They flex when you take the legs wide. Keep the belly tight. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep those legs engaged, five, Four, you got it. Three, two, one. Rest, good job. Hug the knees into the chest, really nice. Let's take the roll up. So extend that left leg long, followed by the right. Both feet flexed for this exercise. You can either take the arms all the way over the head or you can start with the hands just above the shoulders. Inhale, curl that and shoulders up. Exhale, reach and dive for the toes. Get that full extension of your spine. Gaze down, neck is nice and long. Inhale, roll back down. Exhale, the arms go up or all the way over the head. Four more, curl head and shoulders. Reach, dive, extend. Roll back down, arms go up. Three more, reach and dive. Roll back down. Two more, reach and dive. Roll back down. Last full round. Yes, really nice. Let's take a half round. So curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive for those toes. Pull yourself up to a tall spine. Take your feet a little less than the width of the mat. <clears throat> and take your hands behind the head, elbows wide. Now the focus for the spine twist is keeping a tall spine. If you do this and you start to, don't let the spine curl. Pull the belly in. This is supporting all of this behind. Interlock the fingers, take a breath in, lengthen spine as you exhale. Twist to your right, take the arms long, take the hands back behind the, set, the head, come back to center, then twist it left, arms long, behind the head, and center. Go right, arms long, behind the head, and center. When you extend the arms long, they should be strong and engaged. Twist, long, 
behind the head and center. Go left, arms behind the head and center. Right, arms long, behind the head and center. Go left, arms long, behind the head and center. One more like this, right, arms long, behind the head and center. Go left, arms long, behind the head and center. Now we'll add on, twist to the right, take the arms long, reach outside of your right ankle. Come back to center, hands behind the head, twist it to the left, reach, come back, center. Twist, reach, back and center. Twist, reach, back and center. Twist, reach, back and center. Twist it left, reach, back, center. One more, twist, reach, back and center. Go left, reach, back and center. Really nice, close your legs together. Take your hands behind you about a foot. Your fingertips face forward. Point your toes, belly in, lift your hips up for two and down for two. Hips up for two and down for two. Eight more hips up for two and down for two. Seven, try to get all the 10 toes on the mat if you can. Six, squeeze the inner thighs. Five, four, Three, two, one. Yes, really nice. Back up to that tall spine, flex the feet, hands by hips, scoot yourself to the top of the mat for rolling like a ball, bend your knees, big toes touch. Find your balance, grab your shins from the outside. We'll do five rounds, inhale, rock back to the tips of the shoulder blades, exhale, rock back up and balance. Four more, inhale back. Exhale up, three more, inhale back, exhale up, last two, inhale back, exhale up, last one, inhale back, exhale up. Let's transition into series of five now for single leg stretch. Left leg to a high diagonal, hands grab your right shin, roll down onto your back and you're all set up. Let's go right and left. Remember, for single leg stretch, you don't want the upper body moving. You want the head and shoulders as high as you can get off of the mat and full extension of the legs without letting the upper body wobble. A lot of people do this. Don't do that. Just keep everything stable, switching out those legs. Right and left. You got it. Right and left. Keep going. Breathe. Five, four, point your toes. Three, two, one, rest, good job. I know series of five is a doozy, it's not everyone's favorite, but it's so good for your core. Let's set up the next round of series of five, which is double leg stretch. So bring your legs into tabletop, curl the head and shoulders up, hands behind the head. As you inhale, extend those legs to a high diagonal, only as low as you can go, keeping the lower back down. Exhale, full circle of the arms, scoop the knees into the chest. Inhale to extend, exhale to scoop the knees in. Again, the upper body is not wobbling. Stay stable with the upper body. You're doing great, good work. Try to keep the elbows wide when you take the hands behind the head and try to get a full circle of the arms as you scoop the knees into the chest. Keep going. We're here for five, four, Three, two, one. Rest, I'm with you. That one is tough. Rest, pause, breathe slowly, slow down the breath if you lost it for any reason, but never hold your breath in Pilates. Always keep that breath flowing. Let's set up single straight leg stretch. Take both legs straight up to the sky or the ceiling, depending on where you are. Curl your head and shoulders up. Lower that left leg to hover, grab your right shin from behind, and then start to switch out those legs right and left. The more you can press your lower back down, the more you can try to get those head and shoulders higher off of the mat. You've been doing this for a while, try to get a little sound, try to kick the leg out of the hands. The legs are strong, long, and engaged. Right, left, right, and left. Keep going right, left, right, and left for five, Four, three, two, 
one, rest. Good job, lower the head and shoulders down. Pause to breathe. We just have two more in our series of five. Let's begin setting up double straight leg stretch. Start to bring both legs straight up to the sky once again. Hands by your hips. Listen, if your neck is feeling fatigued or challenged, you can just keep the neck down on the mat, no problem. But if possible, curl the head and shoulders up. As you inhale, it's a slow lower down. Exhale right back up. Those of you that want more challenge, you take those hands behind the head. But remember, the legs are only going as low as you can take them while still keeping the lower back down on the mat. So really maintain the form, the integrity. It's a slow lower down and an exhale right back up. This one's a doozy, I know. Not most people's favorite, but it's really good for those lower abs. Keep going. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Yes, good work. Almost there. Let's finish off our series of five with crisscross. Legs back to tabletop. Let's just do it. Curl the head and shoulders. Hands behind the head. Here we go. Twist opposite elbow, opposite knee. So the upper body does move for this one. We've added this. Twist. Keep going. Twist, 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 and twist. Fast or slow, it's up to you. But if you start going really fast and you're not getting full extension of the leg that's reaching forward, you've lost some of the integrity of the exercise. So really focus on pointing those toes. Right, twist, twist, and twist. We've got five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Good job. Lower the head and shoulders down. Slow down the breath. If you want to, you can place the feet down and lift up the hips to a Pilates bridge. Maybe even interlock the fingers underneath you and just stretch out the abdominals here. Then scoop the belly and curl the spine back down nice and slow. One vertebra at a time. Extend the left leg long and the right leg on. So, Setting up for neck pull here. It is similar to the roll up, but this time the hands are going to be behind the head. So it is more challenging. So flex the feet, press the legs heavy into the mat. As you inhale, curl the head and shoulders up. As you exhale, come all the way up and extend that spine rounding forward. And then inhale, roll back down all the way onto your back. We're gonna do that four more times. Curl the head and shoulders. Come all the way up, roll all the way down. Let's do three more, curl. Come all the way up, all the way down. Two more, scoop that belly. Come all the way up, diving forward. Roll all the way back down, just one more round. You got it. Urgh, this one's so hard. And roll that down, really nice. Now we'll take a regular roll up transition. Arms up, curl the head and shoulders. Reach and dive for those toes. And scoop the legs around, plant your left hand, plant your right hand. Step back and meet me in a high plank, top of a push up. Pause here, let's get really strong in this plank. Pull the belly in, knit your ribs together. Make sure your fingers are spread wide on the mat. Grip the mat with the fingertips. Breathe nice and steady. Hold this plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Listen, feet together. Side plank, left hand plant. Stack the feet, roll open. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Take the right arm over the ear and then rainbow that arm. Take it all the way down by the side of the body. We're just going to do that four more times. Stretch the arm over the ear, inhale, exhale, bring it back down. Last three and down. Last two and down. Last one and down, right into the other side. I'm gonna move so you can see me, plant that right hand, stack your feet, reach that left arm up, take it over the ear, inhale as you exhale, sweep it back down right by the side of the body. Last four, three, press the mat away, two, one. 
pass back through your plank pose. We'll meet in a down dog. I'm just gonna flip around, but you just come into a downward facing dog. And pause there, breathe. Lengthen the tailbone to the ceiling, press the mat away. Feet about hips with distance apart, hands shoulder with distance apart. As you inhale, roll forward to a plank, drop the hips down so you're in a floating upward facing dog. You're on the balls of the feet. Draw the shoulders down the back, take a breath in. As you exhale, scoop the belly, lift the hips up and back. We're just doing that twice more and then we're gonna add on. So roll forward, drop the hips, up and back down dog. One more like that. Drop the hips, lift up and back. This time, drop the hips down, bend your, lift your right leg and bend your right knee. Curl that right heel in, take an inhale, lift it higher. As you exhale, hollow the belly and you're gonna pull the right knee all the way into the nose, round, and then back into that floating dog with the right leg up. You got it, we're doing it just four more. Exhale, scoop, inhale, three more, exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, Exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, inhale, good job, place that right foot down, let's go right into the other side if you can, lift up that left leg, curl the left heel in, take a breath, lift it higher, exhale, knee to nose, four more, inhale, exhale, three more, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, Exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale back, place the left foot down, exhale, downward facing dog. Good job, that one is not easy. Walk the hands back to meet your feet. Take a moment here if you want to, just grab opposite elbows, let the upper body hang, sway side to side. Pausing to breathe, then hands to the mat, there's a bug in my face. Roll up to stand all the way. And we'll do three times of a roll down and a walk out to a high plank. So scoop the belly, roll down. As you inhale, walk out to your plank. As you exhale, walk back to meet your feet. And inhale, roll up to stand. We'll do that two more times fully through. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk it out. Exhale, walk it back. Inhale, roll up to stand. One more time, scoop that belly, roll down. Walk it out. Walk it back. Roll up to stand, really nice. Now we'll meet in a plank pose, but not for very long, don't worry. Roll down, walk out to plank, and then just lower your knees down onto the mat in tabletop, take a couple rounds of cat-cow, drop the belly, inhale. Exhale to round, twice more, inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale. Come back to a neutral spine in your tabletop. Keep that belly tight. Take that left leg back, hip height. Engage the leg. Take your right arm forward, shoulder height. As you inhale, lift the arm and the leg as high as you can above that, and then exhale right back to that hip height, shoulder height. Four more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale and exhale, keep going, last two, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale, really nice. Now plant the right hand down, tuck your right toes, lift the left leg high to a down dog split. Bend that left knee and open the hip, get a nice little scorpion dog here. Then straighten the left leg, hip square. As you exhale, take that left knee all the way across to your right tricep, listen. Kick it out to the right, reach that right arm up, do not put the foot down. Bend the knee, stand on your left shin. So now you're in a modified side plank. If you need to adjust that right foot or your left hand, go ahead and make those adjustments. Open the chest, take that right hand behind the head, lift your right leg up to hip height, foot is flexed, make sure the left hand is right underneath your left shoulder, the left wrist under shoulder. With the flexed foot, tap it down, and up, just to hip height, down and up. For three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, we're just doing 10, nine, 10. Now point your toes, tap down, lift up, bend the knee, extend. Down and up, bend, extend. That's two, down and up, bend, extend. That's three, down and up, bend, extend. Four, down and up, bend, extend. That's five, halfway and up, bend, extend. That's six, down and up, bend, extend. Seven, down and up, bend, extend. That's eight, two more, down and up, bend, extend. Last one, down and up, bend, extend. Now keep it up there, crunch, pull, right knee to meet that right elbow, and out. Two, and out, we've got 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right foot down, stretch that right arm up and over the ear. Great job, you guys. We are meeting in a forearm plank, so go ahead and bring that right hand down. Tuck your right toes, step the left foot back. Find the plank pose, then come down onto your forearms in a forearm plank. Interlock all 10 fingers and press the forearms firmly into the mat. Scoot the belly in and up. Feet about hips with distance apart, and then just start to shift forward and back. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Almost there, two, one. Release the interlock of the hands and lower those hips down onto the mat. Take a sphinx pose. Pause to breathe. Press the forearms, shoulders away from the ears. Gently lower the chest all the way down onto the mat. Take your fingertips outside of the mat. Bring your feet a little wider than your hips and then just lift up the chest. Lower the chest. Start to like get the, warm up the spine. Lift the chest up and down. Just three more, two more, last one, and down. Now take the hands so they're next to your ribs. All five fingers of each hand are together. And lift up your chest and then lift your hands up off of the mat. So the hands should be hovering just one inch off of the mat. Pull the belly in tight. Focus on those legs, keep them nice and strong. Press the tops of the feet down into the mat. Lift up your right leg. Bend that right knee, curl it in, re-extend the leg, lower it back down. Let's do the left, lift it up, curl it in, extend the leg, and lower. Go right, bend, extend, and lower. Left, bend, extend, and lower. Right, bend, extend, and lower. Lift the chest higher, bend, extend, and lower. Right, bend, extend, and lower. Left up, Bend, extend, and lower. Keep those legs engaged, point the toes. Extend, and lower, left. Extend, bend, and lower. Just one more right. Extend, bend, and lower. One more left. Bend, extend, and lower. And then place everything back down. Take a child's pose to stretch out the spine. Hips back, knees wide, forehead to the mat. Breathing. And we'll meet in a tabletop pose to start that sequence from the other side. I'm simply going to turn my body so that you can see what I'm doing. You don't need to do anything yourself. Just come into your tabletop and we'll be starting all of that over with the right leg. So take that right leg back to hip height. Take that left arm forward to shoulder height. As you inhale, lift the right leg and the left arm and then back down. So four, three, two, one. Left hand down, tuck your left toes. Lift the right leg high into a down dog split and then bend that right knee, open the hip into the scorpion dog. Straighten that right leg, square the hip. Take it across, twist to that left tricep. Kick it through, remember we're not putting it down. Kick it to the left, reach that left arm up. Bend your right knee, stand on your right shin. So your right toes might be off the mat a little bit. Reset yourself, make sure the wrist and shoulder are stacked. 
Left hand behind the head. Don't let the chest crunch, keep the chest lifted. Flex that left foot, left leg up to hip height. First we do it with a flex foot, down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Point your toes, tap the foot, lift the leg, bend the knee, extend. Ten total. Down, up, bend, extend. That's nine. Bend, extend, eight. Bend, extend, seven. Bend, extend, six. Bend, extend, five. Bend, extend, last four. Bend, extend, three. Bend, extend, last two. Bend, extend, last one. Bend, extend, let's go, crunch it in. Elbow to knee, and open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work, everyone. Place that left foot down. Stretch the left arm up and over the ear. Slow the breath. Feel that extension along the left side body. And we'll meet in a forearm plank once again. So take that left hand, plant it down. Tuck your left toes, step the right foot back. Set yourself up in the high plank, then come down onto the forearms for the forearm plank. Belly in, knit your ribs together. Interlock all 10 fingers, more weight towards the elbows. Press those forearms firmly into the mat. Take your feet wide as the mat. Wide base forearm plank, press the balls of the feet down, and then pull that right knee. Tap the left tricep and back. Left knee across and back. Tap and back, tap and back. Do your best. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet back to hips with distance. Release the interlock and lower those hips down. Woo! Good job, everyone. That was a lot. Breathe. Take a moment here. Woo! All right. Let's do a little more work for our back, chest, and shoulders before we come back to our standing position to work the legs. So lower the chest back down onto the mat. Take your arms so they're across the corners of the mat and your legs across the back corners of the mat. So you're essentially making a bit of an X with the body. Lift everything off of the mat, lower everything back down. Up and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now lift everything up, swim those arms back, take a steeple grip, get a nice shoulder stretch here, and pause to breathe. Keep lifting up higher in that chest and shoulders. Lift those legs up higher, keep the belly in, and just take little pulses up with the chest, just for 10, nine, eight, seven, yes, six, five, Four, point those toes, three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead, child's pose. Stretch out that spine. Really nice work, everyone. Breathe. We will meet in a downward facing dog. I'm just flipping around once again. You lift your hips, you rise to a tabletop, lift those hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Let's meet there. From this down dog, walk the hands back to meet the feet, roll up to stand nice and slow. Step your right foot forward into a lunge shape so your back toes are tucked, the arms reach forward, inhale. As you exhale, stand all the way up with a twist. So I want you to straighten both legs and reach that right arm back and then lower all the way back down into the lunge. We are doing a total of 15. So we've got two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, 10, just five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Really nice work from the lunge. Take the arms up, lean forward, pull your left knee into your chest. Go ahead, find your balance. Reach those arms forward. Take a toe tap 10 times, left toes tap and up. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Left ankle in front of right. Practice your Pilates transition all the way down to your seat. Lie down on your back for teaser. Three rounds. Tabletop those legs, arms up and over. Inhale. As you exhale, come all the way up to your tall teaser. Try to get those arms parallel to the legs. Inhale, roll all the way back down. Just two more. Exhale up. Inhale down. One more. Exhale up. Inhale down. Good job. Do a roll up transition. Left leg long, right leg long. Arms up. Curl out and shoulders. Reach and dive for those toes. Scoop the legs around. Left hand, right hand. Step back to plank. Downward facing dog. We meet. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. And roll up to stand. Let's do the other side. I'm going to switch so that you can see me. So find your lunge, <clears throat> step that left foot forward, right knee down, the arms reach forward, inhale as you exhale. We're coming into that twist, so sweep that left arm back, straighten both legs, squeeze the inner thighs, all the way back down. We've got 15, two, three, four, five, six, keep that belly in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, just five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, really nice. Take those arms up. Use your belly muscles. Stand up to the balance, right knee to chest. Take those arms forward. Let's do those 10 toe taps. Down and up. Nine, keep an eight tall spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Belly in, three, two, one. Right ankle in front of left. Pilates transition all the way down. Lie down on your back. We're coming up to teaser and we'll do a little bit of an add on here. So legs to tabletop, arms up and over the head, inhale. As you exhale, pull yourself up to that tall teaser. Now if you can, take the knees or take the toes, tap them down, re-straighten the legs. Four more times, tap. Don't let the upper body move. Three, two, one. Lower back down, arms up and over the head. Hug those knees into the chest, give, us, give them a squeeze. Really nice work. All right, roll up transition once again. Arms up, curl head and shoulders, reach and dive for those toes. Scoop the legs around. Meet me in a down dog. Yeah, downward facing dog. And then walk the hands to the back of the mat. And grab your, take your right arm, wrap it around your right shin, grab your left shin, take the left arm, wrap it around your left shin and grab the right shin. Grab opposite shins, just take a nice forward fold. You can bend the knees if you need to, no problem. Pause to slow down the breath a little bit. And then release that grip, roll up to stand. Let's grab those weights and finish it off with our weight block here. Find a nice, wide athletic stance on your mat, facing the long end of the mat. So you want heels in and the toes out. We're setting up for some bicep curls here. So as you bend the knees, curl the weights in and then straighten the legs, lower the weights down. We're doing 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six. Keep a tall spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Take your weights to your chest. Turn to face the left and lower that right knee down so you are in a lunge position. Take those weights down by the sides of your body. As you straighten both legs, you'll take the weights up to a shoulder height and then all the way back down. We're doing 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way back down, take the weights to the chest, straighten both legs, come back to that wide athletic stance. This time, bend your knees, sit low, and we're taking the weights opposite punches, one above the other, but I want you to stay low in the legs. So opposite, opposite. Nine, tall spine, eight, belly in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, stand up. Just turn to face the right, lower that left knee down so you're in your lunge shape. Again, take the weights down. This time I want the palms to face in. As you straighten both legs, you're taking the weights wide to shoulder height and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really nice. Weights to chest. Straighten both legs. Back to the wide stance. This is our last thing. Take those weights over the head. Sit low in the legs. Let's do tricep curls. If you want to, you can add on your heels, lifting up and down. Two, three, four, five, six. Lean back, seven, keep a tall spine. Eight, nine, 10. Take those weights to the chest, straighten those legs. Good job. Heel toe your feet, hips with distance. Roll down, place the weights down. Turn back to face your, the top of your mat. Plant your palms, step back to a downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Take your feet a little wider than your hips. Bend right knee, bend left knee a few times. And then we'll just take a twist here. So plant that right hand. Bend the right knee deeply, twist, reach the left arm up. If you want to, you can even wrap the left hand around and grab the inner right thigh. Just breathe here. Nice work, everyone. Switch, left arm up, bend your left knee, left hand down, reach that right arm up. If you want to, go for that half bind. Switch, right arm up. Again, take a ragdoll here. Let the upper body hang, sway side to side. Roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. And we'll finish off with our Pilates style push-ups. We always end Pilates with push-ups. So scoop the belly, inhale, exhale. Do your roll down. Inhale, walk out to plank. You may use your knees if you need to. Just three Pilates style push-ups. Down and up, keep those elbows close to the ribs. Core engaged, legs engaged. After your third one, lift the hips up and back to down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and we'll take just a final shoulder stretch. Sweep the arms up and then swing that right arm in front. Hook the left arm in front of the right. I'll just turn a little bit so you can see me and just stretch that right shoulder out. Switch arms up, swing left arm forward, hook, right arm in front, stretch. And release, swing your arms a few times and you're done. Great, good work, thank you for joining me.